On today's episode of The Daily Deposit, we will be discussing the recent banking crisis that has impacted small banks with massive cash withdrawals. In the wake of the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank on March 10, American investors withdrew nearly $120 billion in deposits from U.S. small banks. This failure marked the second-largest bank failure in American history after the Washington Mutual collapse in 2008, causing panic and creating a crisis of confidence in the entire banking sector. Silicon Valley Bank, based in Santa Clara, California, was a specialized lender for many tech companies. It offered tailored financial services, including venture debt, corporate banking, and asset management, designed to help startups manage their finances, optimize their cash flow, and scale their businesses. The bank offered higher interest rates on deposits than larger rivals to attract customers and invested clients' money in long-dated treasury bonds and mortgage bonds with strong returns. This strategy had worked well for the bank in recent years, as its deposits doubled from $49 billion in 2018 to $102 billion at the end of 2020, and increased to $189.2 billion in 2022. However, when the Federal Reserve began to raise interest rates, the existing bonds held by Silicon Valley Bank became less valuable, forcing the bank to sell the bonds at a discount to cover withdrawals from its customers. The bank incurred a significant loss of $1.8 billion in selling these bond positions, and it suddenly announced that it needed to raise additional capital of $2.25 billion by issuing new common and convertible preferred shares. This decision caused a run on the bank and created fears of contagion, leading to the closure of Signature Bank in New York and the acquisition of Credit Suisse by UBS for $3.24 billion. The panic surrounding banks in the market led to outflows from smaller banks. According to the Federal Reserve, Americans withdrew $120 billion in deposits from small banks during the week ending March 15. This was the first time that withdrawals had been so high, although deposits had been decreasing since the beginning of the year. In contrast, major banks recorded inflows, with deposits totaling $10.74 trillion in the week ended March 15, up $67.4 billion. Despite these outflows, regulators insist that the American financial system remains sound. U.S. Secretary of the Treasury Janet L. Yellen convened a meeting of the Financial Stability Oversight Council on March 24 and stated that while some institutions have come under stress, the U.S. banking system remains sound and resilient. In summary, the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has caused chaos in the banking industry, leading to a crisis of confidence and fears of contagion. Small banks have been hit hard by massive cash withdrawals, while major banks have recorded inflows. Despite these challenges, regulators maintain that the American financial system remains sound and resilient. There you have it, your deposit. If you enjoy stories like this, please hit the like button and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be the first to receive all of my new material as it becomes available.